Hi, superficial fungal infections of the skin are very common and a lot of people come to us complaining that they are getting recurrent infections. That means that whenever they take medicines it goes away but as soon as they stop it comes back again or it recurs every year. So in this video I am going to tell you what measures you can take in order to prevent the recurrences of these fungal infections. The first and foremost important cause for recurrent of these infections is incomplete treatment. If you have not completed the course of antifungals and you have stopped it midway then there is a high chance of the fungal infection coming back. Remember that nowadays fungal infections are very tough to treat and they have become resistant to treatment. So you have to complete the course of medicines in order to see results. Okay, so when you start taking antifungal medicines in about one to two weeks you will feel that you have become absolutely okay and all the lesions have subsided. But as soon as you stop it's just going to come back again. So you have to complete the course. Usually we give a course for about three to four weeks but if you have extensive infection involving multiple body areas then you will have to take medicines for six to eight weeks. We give a combination of oral antifungals as well as creams to apply. Oral tablets and capsules we usually give for about three to four weeks and topical application can be continued for up to three months. So please always when you leave the dermats clinic understand for how long you are supposed to take the medicines, how long you are supposed to apply the creams so that you do it properly. Okay, because if you leave it midway it is just going to come back again. Second most common cause for recurrence is using creams that contain steroid. If you are using any cream with more than two components in it and the other component is not salicylic acid then please stop using it right now. Okay, you are not supposed to use any creams that contain steroid in it. In the description box below I will be mentioning the commonly used topical steroids. So please make sure that the antifungal cream that you are using does not have any steroid in it. What steroids do is that it reduces the ability of your body to mount a reaction against the fungus. Okay, so uh, our body reacts to the fungus, forms an inflammation and that is how it kills the fungus. But if you apply a cream with steroid that reaction will not be there and the fungus will just keep spreading. Okay? And when you start applying the steroid cream initially you will feel that it's gone away completely, the lesions have subsided and you know you feel a lot of relief. But as soon as you stop the cream it comes back with double the force. Okay, so please do not use any creams with steroids in it and steroids also causes thinning of the skin. If you are applying creams that contain steroids especially in areas such as the groin or under your breast then you will notice that it is leaving behind large stretch marks. It will leave behind large red stretch marks which takes a long time to get better. Okay, and remember that stretch marks once formed can never go back to normal skin. So we have to make sure that we do not use any creams that contain steroids. Steroids will cause thinning of the skin. If you apply it on your face you can even see that your facial hair is increased after application of steroid. Please make sure that the creams that you are using do not contain steroid in them. When your lesions are very large and red and then you apply a cream that contains steroid it is just going to reduce the inflammation of the skin, the redness. Okay, so you will feel that the redness is gone and the lesion looks so much better and that you are healing. But it is only causing a temporary improvement. It is just going to get worse and the fungus is only going to continue to multiply. So make sure that you avoid using creams that contain steroids. I cannot stress this enough. Please stop using steroid creams in your groin area and using these combination creams, the antifungal combination with a steroid. Do not use these creams because it is just going to make matters worse and it is going to just prolong your treatment course. Third cause is improper hygiene. So whenever you have a fungal infection you have to be very careful of your hygiene. After you take a bath you have to wipe yourself properly with a thin cotton towel okay, and make sure that the folds of your body are properly wiped off. There is no water logging and then you can apply your antifungal cream and make sure that this towel is washed every day and ironed every day. All the clothes that come in contact with your body have to be washed and ironed every day especially your undergarments. Otherwise what happens is that whenever you take tablets the lesions go away but the fungus can come back to your body through towels and through undergarments. So then you will keep getting these infections again and again. So make sure that all your undergarments and towels are properly ironed. Your clothes have to be dried out in the sun and after drying have to be ironed properly. Just sun drying the clothes is not going to help in killing the fungus. So ironing the clothes is very very important. Fourth cause for recurrent fungal infection is if your family member is infected. Okay, so fungal infection spreads very rapidly within the family especially if your clothes are washed together or you are sharing towels. Okay, so make sure that all your towels are separate and if you do have a fungal infection your clothes have to be washed separately. 
So if you do suffer from fungal infection, do ask your family members if they are having it too. Especially if you have teenage boys, they feel very shy to come up to their parent and tell them that they have a fungal infection. They would probably just go up to a chemist and buy a cream and apply that, which is just not going to help. So if please ask every member in your family if they are having fungal infection. What happens is that everybody's response to the fungal infection is different. The family member might always have a mild infection which they'll be just applying a cream and which is not bothering them too much. But until that person is treated, you will continue to have this severe infection. So you have to break this chain to completely recover. Otherwise, as long as you take medicines, it's going to remain fine. But then as soon as you stop medicine because of reinfection, you're again going to develop this fungal infection. So make sure that you properly ask your family members if they are suffering from this fungal infection and if they are they should also be properly and adequately treated another common cause for recurrent infection is infection in the toenails so if your toenails are yellow in color or they are very thickened then you have to bring this to the notice of your dermatologist sometimes what happens is that because of prolonged nail infection you're continuously getting infections in the groin area you want to make sure that you're very careful while wearing your undergarments otherwise if the size of your undergarment touches the toenail then you will keep developing lesions in the groin okay so you have to be very careful about that and also you have to treat the toenail fungal infection if you have fungal infection of the toenail you have to take treatment for about three to six months yes it's a very long treatment if your toenail is infected the toenail grows very very slowly so it requires that you take treatment for a long time for it to go away completely Along with oral antifungals, we also give you nail lacquer which is like a nail polish with an antifungal that can be applied on the nail plate every day. Okay, so you have to be very careful when you have a toenail infection and make sure that it is treated properly so that you can reduce the recurrences of fungal infection. Another common cause for recurrent fungal infection is having diabetes. Diabetes reduces the ability of your body to fight against infections, okay? It kind of reduces immunity per se. So what happens is that then you, will, then you are more likely to develop infections again and again. So if your blood sugar levels are not controlled, then you really want to look into it and control them. This could be one of the reasons why you're getting fungal infection. So if you have, if you're not a known diabetic and have extensive fungal infections and have a family history of diabetes, then you really want to get your blood sugar checked. You also have to be careful about food intake. Try to avoid food with high carbohydrate content and high level of sugar in them. Especially if you're diabetic or borderline diabetic, this will also hamper the healing of the fungal infection. So there you go, a brief video on the causes for recurrence of superficial fungal infection. I hope you found this video useful. If you like such skin and hair related content, then you can follow me on my Instagram handle, Dr. Achal MD. I post such skin and hair related content daily. Thank you for watching.